Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new video, another gun show, today, well today is the 23rd of December, but a few days ago I went to the, um, I went to the gun show at, at a, at a I guess like a, um, it's like an airport center in Greenville, South Carolina, and I had a good time, um, I went with, uh, the crew from, uh, C and Arsenal, so shout out to Bias May and friends. Um, I really appreciate them, you know, uh, inviting me to come up there with them to uh, to Greenville to go to that show. I saw a lot, a lot of cool things, but uh, I made I made very very few purchases at this show. Um, I I was kind of I was kind of you know really I really wasn't looking to spend money on a gun, uh, but I did but I did keep my, you know I did have some cash on me and I did keep open minds, figure out you know check out the show, see what you know see what was nice out there. I did see. Uh, a Winchester Model 1300 Defender, a riot shotgun that uh, I've had my eye on for some time. I liked it, you know, because it was in the game Max Payne. But uh, I passed on it, and I decided to go with something that I, you know, something that I have had on my list from a long time, a long time ago. And I finally stumbled upon it. Finally got me a Smith & Wesson Model 10. This is a Dash 5 model. It's a 38 Special, 6-shot revolver. And I didn't get a chance to shoot this yet. I just got it a few days ago, but I like, I read, I did like, I, I like how this gun looks. Um, it's all parkerized, which was done, um, which was done after someone else had gotten to it. It was a, uh, it would just sit there at a, um, a, this a older guy at a booth. He had you know a couple of guns, and he had this one all in the back. I could tell that it's been there for some time because it was, you know, the tag on it was pretty old. You know, it's kind of faded. It said three hundred dollars on the tag. I asked him, "What's the lowest you'll go down?" And he said, the "Lowest he'll go down because he's selling to a friend." He said, it "Can go down to two seventy-five." I said, "Well, it looks pretty nice." One thing he showed to me was that the he said, "Hey, let me um, show you the trigger pull. It's very smooth." You know, as I say, that's one of the smoothest triggers I've ever I've ever handled in a revolver. Um, so I said, "Well, you know, it looked real nice. It need it didn't need to be cleaned up. I thought it was Cerakoted." Because of how dirty it was, <laughs> but it turns out it was actually parkerized. There was um, a lot of crud around the around the muzzle and inside the cylinders. But uh, I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to walk around for a bit. I'll, I'll uh, see what other things I see. And as I was walking around, I said, you know, that gun is pre that revolver is pretty pretty nice. And what I figured I could do is I'll, get, I'll get, I can maybe use it to train other people. So whenever I go to the range and teach new shooters, I'm always you know taking something like I'll take a uh, 22 bolt action and my browning high power because those are kind of I guess my high power is maybe the softest shooting hang on I have or as and, and also in terms of weight it doesn't weigh a whole lot but I said you know what a 38 special um, de a dedicated 38 special would be nice also I've always wanted a model 10 um, this is the kind of the, the that police have used all over the world and it's a very popular handgun I believe six million of these were made I remember Such a couple years back did a video about the model 10 and he talked about that. I came across that same number um, online. I looked it up. On, I think it was a Wikipedia. But it's a very popular handgun. It came in very different, you know, many different variations. A, oh, I thought I actually kind of I had a thing for the heavy walled barrel, for the heavy barrel um, model. But I gotta say, this tapered barrel model and you know, the fixed sights it looks very nice. And I like this. So I went back, you know, and said to the guy, you know, two seventy five. He said, yeah. So I gave him two seventy five cash. We shook on it. Um, shout out to Tommy, that's the name of the guy who um, sold this to me. And you know, I walked away with a, you know, a pretty neat, a pretty neat little pistol. This is, so you guys see it, it says 38 Smith & Wesson Special CTG. And you got the insignia on the side. On this side it's all plain. Um, you know, no trigger lock, which I, I know a lot of guys look out for that when they're buying Smith & Wessons. They don't like that lock on the side, which I, which I do understand. I uh, took it home and cleaned it up. Um, I wire wheeled some of the parts, especially the, the trigger, the hammer. Um, and I hope I get this part right. It's the it is what holds the trigger spring in place. It's a it's that it's, it's that uh, white steel block on the inside of the of the trigger mechanism. But everything looked pretty nice. Timing's all you know. Everything locks up pretty well. Um, and it's a nice gun. It fits very nice in my hand. Now about the fit. So this grip I have on it right now is not the grip that came with it. I'll show you the grip that came with it. 
I'm pretty sure I mean you guys recognize this from my previous videos. This is my this is my first Smith and Wesson revolver. It's a 681. This is this, but this one was stamped New York State Police. Um, this is a 357 Magnum. This was the grip that came on this revolver. Now this grip was kind of it was a bit much for me, you know, on, a, on this on this little 38. And you know, and actually at the show, one thing I looked at, one thing I looked into doing was see if I could replace the grips. Um, I didn't find any wood grips that I could, you know, that I could replace, you know, put on this. So I said, you know, well, let me, uh, I'll, I'll just grow with it. Uh, but then I got home, and I started thinking, well, these frames are, ba I think these are both uh, K-frame revolvers. And so I figured, well, let me see if this, let me see if the grips on this will fit this. And they did. It fit, and it fit nicely. And then I said, well, let me see if the grip steps on this fit on this. And it does fit nicely. It's very comfortable. And so I figured, well, it's a problem that fixed itself. <laughs> you know, and all I do is switch grips. So now um, I have more beefier grips on my 357 Magnum. It sits a bit higher when I when I you know, looked at when I look down the the sights, look down the top of the gun, but it actually is, is very comfortable in my hands. Um, and you know, it isn't a, you know, I'm able to pull the trigger very easy, you know, fairly well, very comfortably. But uh, really, I'll be able to test it out when I go to the range. So I hope to do a range video. Uh, sometime in the future where I take both these revolvers and just do a you know side by side comparison but I gotta say taking grips off this and put on this one worked out very well so I really do like you know I really like the, um, the purchase I made uh, while I was also at the show I did buy a box of pre-partisan uh, 38 special full metal jacket 130, 130 grains uh, I got this for 15 bucks so that was pretty cool. Uh, I went to the, now since we're uh, since we're in, um, since the me and the, the gang and I were in Greenville, we were you know going to check out. Uh, there's a pawn shop they they uh, they showed me that they you know, it was pretty nice. Uh, it's it was pretty close to the to the to the gun show. We also later went to Cabela's, which is where I bought this. Uh, this box of Fiocchi ammo. It's taped up because uh, you know took me, me, uh, once many people you know open the boxes at the at the store. And I figured, you know, let me go ahead and buy this box. And these are 158 grain uh, jacketed hollow points and 38 special. So I guess I'll keep these in this, you know, because I don't have many. Uh, I have to buy some more 38 special because I don't have many. Um, I didn't have any for this because I'm only shooting three, 357 Magnum. So I think I'll get some 38 special for the new 38 special. And while I was there, I went ahead and, and I was kind of happy to see that. Uh, Herders of uh, sold ammunition over at Cabela's. So I went ahead and also bought this box <laughs> of um, 12 gauge. I want, I've been I wanted to try buying in bulk, you know, for some time, and I figured go ahead and you know while I was at Herders, uh, while I was at Cabela's, they had this box. This is only 59.99, and then they're also running a 10% off special that day on um, all Herders bulk ammo. This is just 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, seven and a half shot. Um, one ounce a shot at 1290 feet per second. I wanted to get this because uh, I generally I, I don't buy you know I haven't bought shotgun shells from Walmart in a good long time, and I figured I wanted to go buy bulk somewhere. So I wasn't gonna try Lucky Gunner ammo, but I figured while I was there at Cabela's, I'll go ahead and just pick up this box, and I use it. I'll use it for you know targets, just for practicing on repairs I do on my shotguns. But I would say uh, uh the. You know the trip that I made with the you know, with that gang was very, went very went, went very well. I uh, hope to do more trips like that in the near future. And I hope you guys like this video. Again, like I said, I I, I really like this revolver. It fits in my hand very well. It's a you know it's like an iconic revolver. You know a whole lot a whole lot of these were made, all and you know sold all over the world. So it's very cool to you know finally have one in my collection. But that's my video. Hope you guys uh, hope you guys like what I you know, like these uh, like the presentation. You know, if you want to contribute to the channel, just go to my homepage on YouTube. Look for the give up that cheese button or take it to PayPal. You know, make a donation of any amount that you want. Please like, share, subscribe. If you new if you new uh, visitors to the channel, please check out my older videos and look for new videos to come. If you got any gripes, complaints, see me at PM. I see what I can do to address them. But that's my video. Back for another gun show. Uh, last one of the year, 2019. And that show was on the on December twenty first. That's right, December twenty first, because it ran for two days.
But that's my video. I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care. And God bless. And also, you have a Merry Christmas.